I'm Dr. Kenneth Peters from Beaumont Hospital in Michigan, and I spoke today on chronic pelvic pain and interstitial cystitis. And really, the key points I wanted to get across is that pelvic pain is a very prevalent disease, and for years, interstitial cystitis has been looked at as a bladder disease. And I think as time has gone on, we've become aware that the bladder may be an innocent bystander in a bigger pelvic process. And it's very important as clinicians that we look beyond the bladder at other pain triggers that may be causing some of the underlying symptoms that patients have to really, in a multidisciplinary way, focus on many different levels to uh, attack the different areas that are causing their symptoms in order, in order to ultimately improve uh, their quality of life and outcomes. And one of the things that I think is very important is that we work with our colleagues in many different disciplines and be open-minded at other things besides the bladder, such as the effect of the bowel, the pelvic floor, uh, the vulva, and other areas that may be pain triggers. Because unless we identify all the pain triggers and treat them, I think we're not going to do a good job for our patients in improving their quality of life.